So I spent last Saturday morning watching David McKenzie's new film, Outlaw King, and I was decently impressed. I was anxious to see this movie and was excited to see what appeared to be an accurate and gritty war movie. And that is what I got for the most part. The plot is pretty straightforward with the group of rebels facing off against the English government who is looking to eliminate the uprising. Um, I feel the story spends a little too much time introducing the inner dilemma of Robert the Blues, and it doesn't spend enough time exploring the consequences that both outcomes will have on his life. Um, but overall, the plot doesn't drift too far away from the rebellion. It stays focused. The film does a really good job at maintaining the feeling of desperation that the rebels are experiencing with slaughter after slaughter, with the group losing more and more men. It really helps to show how poor the outlook appears to be for the group. The acting in this film is overall well done, and Chris Pine gives very convincing performances Robert the Bruce. Uh, the supporting cast also give good performances, with Stephen Delane and Billy Howell doing their jobs to make the villains unlikable and evil. Florence Pug uh, brings a lot to her role to make you care for her and elevate her character as more likable than the, just the simple damsel in distress. Uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson surprised me as the crazy warrior James Douglas, as I'm not usually fond of him in other roles. Uh, the characters themselves are a little one-dimensional with the antagonist solely being pure evil and nothing more. Um, some more time spent developing more complex characters would have benefited the film well, such as more time focusing on Robert the Bruce's conflict and how it led to the Scottish Rebellion. David McKenzie does an excellent job with this film. Similar to Hell or High Water, Outlaw King benefits from close attention to detail and realistic action sequences. While Mackenzie focuses a little too much on the aesthetic of the film and not enough time on the story and the characters, he is still able to provide a convincing and intriguing story that provides the viewer with some pride and motivation when the film is done. The pacing is a little choppy in some parts, with some scenes moving too quickly and some plot points being glossed over. A major highlight of the film is the cinematography. The film starts off with a long shot that establishes most of the main characters in the film. It does a really spectacular job at setting the scale and authenticity of the film. All the choreography in that shot is well done. I was already impressed by how the performances and the fighting was going seamlessly, but once the trebuchet shot happened, I was in awe and knew that David McKenzie had another hit on his hands in terms of the shot composition and such. Um, the shots of the Scotland scenery are beautiful and really help with the immersion of the film. The action sequences are also expertly shot and allow the viewer to see the brutality of the fighting rather than just a bunch of quick cuts for cheap fighting. Um, the camera follows movements throughout and helps to let the audience feel the hits and attacks. The only problem with the cinematography is that it needs a large screen to be fully appreciated, and since this is a Netflix movie, most people won't be able to see the true glory. Another really strong aspect of the film is the production design. Everything in this film, from the costumes to the sets, feels authentic and like the movie was actually shot during this time period. Everything is dirty and grimy and it all feels very lived in, which really pulled me into the film. The shooting locations were all beautiful and immersive, and they really helped to bring the film alive. The attention to detail from scene to scene is baffling to me. Overall, the film has engaging and immersive action sequences that help to give the audience a realistic and entertaining experience, but the story is unable to provide depth to the characters on both sides of the fight in order to provide an extra layer for the audience to contemplate and enjoy while watching. Um, based on that, I'm going to give this movie a 6 out of 10.